Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to be quickly walking you through how you can trim the silent parts of your video. Uh, typically, when you're recording your videos or you're a, maybe a small content creator, you spend a lot of time editing those parts from the videos where you're not really speaking or maybe you're thinking or maybe just you're walking uh, your audience through the screen, screen share per se, right? Now, as a small creator, I struggled with this a lot. And so I created this very simple tool that will help you remove the silent parts from your video for completely. Free. So you can click on try for free here and you will be redirected to app.videosilencerimover.com and go ahead and, you know, get familiar uh, with the UI itself. It's pretty simple, right? So go to video silence remover here. It's extremely simple. Just choose the file that you want to remove silence from the template that you want to choose the default one will definitely work well for your videos and finally process the file so let's take an example of this video where um, you have Elon Musk giving an interview and he paused for a very long time somewhere in somewhere at the somewhere in the interview and you'll also notice that this um, this guy also going to take some pauses when he's kind of introducing the interview itself so let's go through the half, go through half of the video you just did exactly what you felt all the time well what's it like to be be a billionaire in elon musk's case you can say whatever the heck you want do your tweets hurt the company are there tesla owners who say i don't agree with his political position because and i know it because he shares so much or are there advertisers on twitter that linda yaccarina will come and say you gotta stop man or you know i can't get these ads because of some of the things you tweet so you can see almost pause for like 20 or 30 seconds here and while introducing the interview itself the previous guy and the guy after him also paused for some seconds um, typically that would you know is fine in the world of TV but if you have YouTube audience that expects you to give you that expects to receive very crisp content this can hurt the uh, average view time of your videos first. And I struggled with this for a very long time, editing these parts of the videos. Um, so I created this very simple app where you can just choose the file, choose the template, and then click on process the file. It can go ahead and remove the silent parts of the videos for you. So, you know, this is not real time per se, primarily because the AI takes some time before doing the automatic editing of the videos. But let me show you why um, it would still make sense for you to kind of use this on a very like basis so i've taken the example of three videos here right so there is this the first video that i had uploaded it had uh, trimmed 18 seconds from that video it was a relatively smaller video the next video had 431 seconds worth of silent part in the video the next video after that had 57 seconds and you can see the amount of cuts that are made here right so there's 43 211 and 33 now if you were to manually remove these 211 parts from your video it would easily take you 35 minutes to say maybe a one hour assume that you take 10 to 20 seconds per cut so this is how the tool helps at least for the first cut itself it will give me the video that um, i can use later um, in order to do the maybe some systematic or maybe some uh, fancy looking animations in the video itself but the initial part is automatically edited via the AI. Yeah. and let me show you how that looks so i have an example that i downloaded some time back for the same elon musk video Good that point. i was showing let me just uh, pull that off let me just pull that out and show you how the video Good looks point. and then so this is the video the initial video was was 1 minute 36 seconds the new video is 57 seconds if you've ever wondered what it would be like to win lotto and to have screw you money to have enough money that it wouldn't matter what you said what you did you just did exactly what you felt all the time well what's it like to be a billionaire in elon musk's case you can say whatever the heck you want do your tweets hurt the company are there tesla owners who say i don't agree with his political position because and i know it because he shares so much or are there advertisers on twitter that linda yaccarina will come and say you gotta stop man or you know, I can't get these ads because of some of the things you tweet. You know, I'm so in the previous video, you'd see that there was a long pause and there were no cuts initially throughout the video itself. But now you can see the video is way more smaller and there are no direct pauses in the video. Now, obviously, you'd say that, hey, maybe I want the pauses to be uh, longer throughout the video right in which case you can obviously go ahead and adjust uh, the settings here the silence threshold is what um, you want so so let's say you have 45 decibels and worth of so if you're recording in the studio you would go ahead and choose the 45 decibel setting minus 45 and then if you're recording in a noisy environment you would want to have a setting that is say more aligned with the right side of the pointer or maybe the positive side minimum silence duration is how how much time before the ai should detect it as a silent so maybe 
maybe if you're quiet for say three seconds then that's a silent silent uh, area for you to cut then there is padding uh, this could this is where uh, i mentioned right so if you want larger pauses in the video but you still want to make certain cuts so you can say before and after every cut have like a one second worth of padding right so all of that can be manipulated um the way you want but I would recommend just going through the default one because it's been tested throughout uh, maybe 500 videos um, to find what is like the best setting for, for the videos. So once you process the video, you also get an email saying that your video is ready to take forward. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do in order to get this to work. I'm also working on shorts from videos where once you upload your YouTube videos, I'll give you, I'll be, I will be able to give you shorts generated automatically from your YouTube videos with captions. So I'm still working on that. But initially I think if you you um, are someone who's a small content creator or maybe someone's creating blogs on a daily basis you can really benefit off so if there are any questions or if there are any feature requests feel free to add those in the comments but at this point of time this is what we have guys all your jobs are also visible here in the dashboard if there are certain things that you'd want to see in the dashboard itself feel free to kind of drop me a note on that but thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have great time or maybe have less time editing a video after watching the video thank you so much and have a